Hello all, Luck here. I just wanted to do a quick video for some of you who have been asking me some questions about the uh, the uh, DCS interface and the web server um, GUI. So here's a couple th tips I can show you. Um, a lot of people don't realize it, but when you get in your server screen, um, it takes sometimes it takes a little bit of time to load. I don't know why this is. This is something that has to do with how it connects through DCS. So uh, one thing to remember is if you don't see the observer at the bottom, don't change anything, don't touch anything, because as soon as you do that, this uh, setting, all these settings go back to default. And the default will be DCS server in a title, uh, max players reverts to 16, if the port's different, it goes back to the base port. Um, so there's a couple th things, you know, you just to remember, and all this, the default settings will change in here too. So that's what I'm going to show you a little bit about. But just make sure that the observer is loaded at the bottom. If you see that observer, you know you're ready to roll. So under advanced, um, and if you do see it, if you see that your your um, players, for instance, has gone from 40 to 16 or whatever, uh, you could just come in here and change it. Change it back to 40. It's okay. You could even make it higher if you want. If you have uh, a 40 player server and you want to try to get 60 players on there, you can. Um, what we do, we set these slots up as a guidance and, um, you know, as a guidance for the amount of resources on your server. We don't recommend you go higher. You probably could, but it could be disastrous. So, <laughs> I mean, it could be slow, it could cause problems. Um, it'll, it'll, you know, run out of resources. This is why we have these different slots here. We recommend the different tiers. So the other thing you can do is under... Um, integrity check I wanted to show you this you could you could put require all the stuff require pure modules textures under pure scripts we usually uncheck it because some of the scripts that you guys are running and some of these mods don't pass this pure test and um, you know if if you uncheck this you just won't run into any problems but I, I think someone was telling me the CTLD script for helicopters causes uh, this is the trip. Um, some of the SAM, uh, high digit SAM scripts, or I can't remember which one. Maybe it's, uh, I can't remember the name of the script. But anyway, you got to watch out. Keep it unchecked and you won't have to worry about it. Uh, the other thing under advanced, <clears throat> which is important, is this stuff here. So all this stuff, this object export, sensor, player, all this stuff has to do with what is used in TacView, right? So TacView needs sensor, uh, and I'm sorry, it needs object, player, um, for sure. Sensor is extra, you don't need it for per se. It will put a little drag on your server, so I usually recommend not doing it, but object export is okay for sure. And then um, if you want uh, to allow clients to take uh, screenshots, sure, that's a good one. Change tail number change skins a lot of people forget this one and don't and don't change it but it needs to be changed uh, likewise on here under voice chat you want voice chat off you have SRS on your server we all use discord voice chat is a built-in feature that we usually don't recommend um, it, it's usable but it requires a new port open and we haven't we don't support it so basically you keep it off uh, one other thing you want to do is player pool. So, <clears throat> you know, when you see the score, if you hit the, I think it's the, the uh, single quote, you can see the score in uh, in the server, like how many planes you shot down, how many ground targets you blew up. That's this. This has to be enabled for that to be uh, there. And then lastly, um, whenever you edit this, it always defaults to resume manual. So you have to change it to what you want. Now, resume manual means if someone logs in your server, it's paused and you have to hit uh, unpause to play uh, at the server level. Now, if you want it to resume on load and it would just run all the time, you could do that too. Um, this way you'll get the cycles through day and night and you'll your mission will run. Um, I don't usually do this, but some people like it. Uh, I usually like resume with clients. The server is paused until somebody joins and then it unpauses and then when they log off, it stops. Uh, that's the best way, but um, every time you come into this, if I save this and then uh, save it and apply it, restart. It's going to restart the server with those settings. Takes a second. 
but when you come back into this, you'll see here it come. I'll start in a minute. <clears throat> no, I don't know why it's not starting. But when you come back into the gears here, you go to the advanced. Oh, there it goes. It's finally starting. If you go to the gears and you go to advanced, you'll notice. Ah, it it is there. <laughs> Sometimes it reverts back to manual, uh, but um, if that happens, just flip it to where you want it, and you'll be all set. Okay. Well, the other thing I wanted to show is um, adding missions. So once you've done your mission uh, through the cloud and you get it out on the missions folder, just hit the plus, and you'll see your missions out here. You can add new missions by uh, clicking on them and just hit uh, the Add button to uh, get them onto the screen. And then once you're there, you can hit Run or you can hit Stop and then pick the missions you want. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what Loop and Shuffle do. I, I've never seen it. I, I don't know how that works. If anyone knows, you could be great to tell me. But um, And also another thing Fox Free customers can do is change their uh, <clears throat> the uh, observer name. Uh, we automatically keep it to either Fox3 or Fox3.ms.com, but you can change this to whatever you like. As long as the only thing you please don't change is this. Uh, you can put anything you want in your title, uh, but after that, please put this pipe and this so we can our monitoring system can actually see your server. Otherwise, we don't know when it's screwed up. And that's a